So all four motors in this G580 are powered through a 116 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. The end result in terms of output is that it delivers 579 horsepower and 859 pound-feet of torque, really an incredible amount. It's said to go from zero to 60 miles an hour in 4.1 seconds, which is quick. It's quicker than the G550, but not as quick as the time in the AMG 63. So the battery itself is housed in a torsion-resistant casing, and it's designed to protect it from water and dirt intrusions during off-roading. This, of course, is an off-road capable vehicle, even though, as we know, most G-Wagon owners never take it off-road, but still, it's capable of doing so. So with the uniqueness of it having battery instead of uh, an engine inside, uh, they do have to have some extra protection uh, involved in its case. And in fact, the way that the battery is housed, what's unique is it has a deeper water fording depth than the regular G-Wagon. As for the overall range of this G580, it has a posted range of 385 kilometers, that's 239 miles. That's not great, uh, but this is one of these cases where you sacrifice, you know, power as this is, uh, and with four motors for, you know, endurance and distance. There's also other contributing factors as to why you're not going to get uh, as much overall range as you're seeing in other luxury SUVs. Number one, there's poor aerodynamics. This thing is a giant box. It has a ridiculous coefficient of drag. I don't know exactly what it is, but it doesn't cut through the wind, that's for sure. It's also heavy. I mean, this thing has significant weight. It's somewhere around 6,800 pounds curb weight. There's different numbers out there, but this is a lot of weight. 